Hi guys, Shox here, and welcome back to my channel for today's video. Actually, I owe you a little bit of an apology for taking so long to get this ready. We did our first YouTuber meetup. JT Bear and I went to Winnipeg and met Reptos TV for the first time ever in person. And Susie joined us later. And so, like, the guys already have their video up. They were really quick to get on it. <laughs> and then here's me just dawdling along. Um, as with theirs, I didn't get a lot of vlogging video done because we had such a great time hanging out. None of us knew the city, so it was fun to just explore. I did, however, take a ton of photographs because I love taking photos. So... What I have here is an introduction to the bits and pieces of vlogging, I guess you could call it, that we did. Um, and I think you saw it all on the guys' channels anyway. Check the cards. I'll put a link to their channels. I'll put, I'll put a link to the channels in the description down below and then like at the end screens too. So <laughs> I'll find their videos and put them in the end screens. There we go. Um, so basically what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to share the little bits of video I did get and I'm hopefully going to be able to tell you the story behind the photographs. So I hope you enjoy this late video. It was an absolute pleasure and an honor to, to meet up with these people for our first ever YouTuber meetup. And yeah, it's actually really nice to meet internet friends in person and be able to give them a big old hug. So one of the highlights of my year so far, so let's get to it. And um, bad vlogging and photographs, here we go. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here we are. We're in this underground mini mall. And this is so bad. Hold on. Is that a phone? Or no, a it's a tablet. Okay, so the, we just walked by this radio station. Nostalgia Radio. We're downstairs in this, like, hallway thing. Um, we came down through... We're literally at the intersection of the worst intersection in Canada, is what it was. That's what the thing said. So to avoid that, we got lost in an underground mall. Right? We're not the only people lost, though. Are you and lost? We're lost and looking for food, too. What do you Where mean? Are you doing? Uh, well, you're not lost. We're not really no, lost. Not really but this is closed down here. Yeah, we noticed. We noticed. Yeah. So where do you want to go? Okay, so we were just abducted some by, by some beautiful people. Wonderful people. That uh, showed us where the map is so we can find our way. She says abducted. I say rescued. <laughs> rescued. Um, and we're on our way to find some fast food. We are literally underneath that Canada's worst we're intersection. Portage in Maine. We're at Portage in Maine. Yeah, that's what the nice people say. Who knew? And it's very lovely down here. There's cars driving the over our head. Work. It's pretty. What do you guys think of our adventure so far? It's been an adventure so far. And we've been there. <laughs> Food would be good. <laughs> oh, Duff's Ditch. <laughs> We're at Duff's <laughs> Ditch. Duff beer, beer for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm really sorry for the tinny hollow sound here from my headphones, microphone. But we got a new car so that we could go to Winnipeg. Well, and plus other reasons, but hey, we got a car. So, yep, here's a picture of us in the driveway in our car. Here's us driving in the car, I think, down. We're actually on the road there. So, this is just going to be ridiculous a bunch of photos. Um, where we were parking. Oh, sketchy, sketchy on a Sunday. We were worried about getting towed, but um, that didn't happen, so the view of where we were from the hotel floor, I think we were up on like the 6th, and I love taking like city scoop view photos like that. Which theater is that? Oh, it's one of the older theaters. Odeon Theater. So we've never really been to Winnipeg. Uh, JT and I have been there to the Vital Stats building, so we knew that. Oh, this is just in the lobby of the of the hotel. It was a beautiful old hotel, and it had a lot of history, and it's got a lot of character. Um, <laughs> so while we were waiting, we were just like having a look around the lobby. Oh, look. Now we're in the sketchiest elevator ever. 
this is like right after we first met for the first time like face to face it's kind of weird not seeing the camera for anyone else so i go and try to get a picture of the bike lane as we're downtown wandering around because we don't really know where to go none of us really know where to go and <laughs> there's the guy starting the vlog <laughs> that's the start of jt's vlog um so it was just really cool to just like hang out and be together yeah <laughs> People driving by looking at us, and we're just getting zero laughs. This is what we're doing. We're hanging out. We're wandering. Oh, and then it says stop for the bicycles. So I was going to photo that together and throw it on Instagram at some point. It was really cool being downtown. So what's so cool about this pipe in the building? Oh, there's fire hose nozzles going all the way up. So that was pretty neat to see in the city. There's just another shot of that. I grew up in a big city, so going back to the city, it's really neat to see things that you can only kind of see there. Now, this is a big cube that was in the middle of a square in between a couple of roads, and all four sides looked like that. And when we looked inside, there was just stairs that went up and kind of like a climbing wall. So I don't know if it was an actual thing or what the purpose of it was, but it caught our attention and we had a look. It was really, we had a good laugh about that. A restaurant, I think it was like poutine restaurant, we're like, oh, let's just keep on walking. We were just wandering, wandering. An architect of the people, you can pause. I did not zoom in on that. Man, we had some good laughs, though. We had no idea where we were going. And it looked like we were coming into a different district. Um, oh, what is this now? Oh, I think this is the Mandarin Hall. It's so pretty that walk up, um, the walk with the street walk over up top there. Let's go check it out. The Mandarin Building. The artwork is so intricate and so pretty. Like we just had to. That's all we did. We just stopped and explored and went in really strange looking places. So yeah, I ran up in there and um, I think you can see Rev's video vlog there. I'm like, oh, there's poop in there. So I was taking a picture of him recording me. <laughs> but it's a great view from up there. Yeah, that's, that's us all day. It was kind of fun. Oh, wait. Here's some a beautiful, beautiful pond area down there. We did not go there. We just kind of stayed on the one side of the road because it was really busy with traffic. And we were just wandering, taking pictures with statues. <laughs> Between the three of us, somebody always had a camera whipped out. So <laughs> when you see my photos, like the guys had their photos, and there was like vlog time going on. And it's like, here, let's get under this sign, because the sign looked really cool. And that was the name of the garden, and then that way we would know. Because like I said, none of us have been here before. We went on a walkabout. Okay, what do we have next coming up? Oh, yeah. The thing about this is like, we're like, oh, let's go for some Chinese food. Well, there was so specialized in the different neighborhoods here. Like, every street corner had a different restaurant on it. Oh, except this. This is like the Métis building, I think. We just kept wandering on past, down and beyond. Oh, this is a great big teepee. It was cool because there's a bunch of bikers on the right-hand side there giving out breakfast to the homeless people. This is the train station down on a busy street, so we I didn't go across. We could have. There was a bunch of trains going on. I was super excited. This is the plaque that's in front of the old firehouse that you're going to see in just a couple of minutes. Really, really nice historical places, but it was like trash with garbage and litter. That is the firehouse, yes, from where we were seeing it on the street there. What is this? Oh, that's artwork on the building across the way. I didn't know if we were going that way. The firehouse, I think it said 1904 on its doorway there. 
So I don't know if it's still in use or if it's a part of a historical tour, but we were really enjoying looking at it and checking things out there. Really old part of town. Really creepy, too. Um, yeah, we were walking down a side street, and that is a condo, so you can own a piece of that for full. Weirdest thing I've seen. What is this? The old, another church that's all fenced in and locked up and stuff. Um, and, yeah. Oh, another shot of it. Really, really neat architecture, though, right? <laughs> We were in a pretty sketchy part of town. There's that condo thing again. That's like four lane traffic going across there. It's like a freeway. You don't just kind of hop onto the other side. Would you live in something like that? I had to go. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. It's weird. So I went up to walk. I look over the overpass. These guys are vlogging each other. And I'm going up there to get artwork. So what we're going to see here spans oh, like two huge walls. This building is ginormous. And um, so I just ran up here to get a picture of this full artwork on the side. And those guys vlogging. And seriously, I'm up two flights of stairs. It got a little busy. But um, I freaked them out. I'm like, I've got a queue. And they're like, what? <laughs> but I was just kidding. Um, so there they are trying to get pictures of it from down below. And I got the big one from up top there. This is down the front side of it. Right along the freeway. And it's all music themed. It is such a beautiful building to be able to like have a look at all the artwork going across it. Let's wait this next shot coming up here. So the train tracks came off of the top of the guitar. And it looked really, really cool. So this was to commemorate the Disraeli Bridge and Expressway project. The mayor had opened it and it signified. Ooh, this was another cool artwork building downtown. And notice the bicycles right behind the red brick there. This, we thought it was a fabric store, but it was a clothing collection for the homeless. And this is a hotel that was really, it looked really cool. And like somebody was breaking glass out of the side of it to replace a broken window, but it scared the crap out of us. Bikes hanging straight up, straight up and down in the window. Where are we going here? Oh, I had to take a picture of this for Fuzzy. The skate shop downtown. I think these got a little mixed up. Maybe not. Oh, this is, um, where are we? Is this where we were vlogging? We were <laughs> talking to strangers. Yeah, Festival Hall. I think we were under the ground at this point. We're like, oh, that looks, looks sketchy. Let's go down there. Is that where we were? No, we're still up on the street. What a bunch of goofballs. Oh, I know what that was. We got kicked out of the museum. Because we didn't have a ticket, and so security's like, ahem. So that's our look of shame. We didn't have a ticket. This is right outside the museum, on the side of a wall, actually. Yeah, that's what happened. We got kicked out of the museum together. Oh, man. Ah, yep. Yeah, that's things that are coming up. It was the animal, I think it was the animal something or other. Um, oops. But I, oh, this is down beside. It's another monumental statue. I got a coin from the museum. This, I thought it was going to be cooler than it was also. Really neat shape building. I love architecture. This is behind the museum as well, I think. <laughs> like, if we can't go in there, we'll just take pictures all around it. Yeah, we're by the museum still. That might be the planetarium in there, actually. It looks like the outside of a planetarium. The plaque at the bottom of that statue we just saw. The big statue. 
Alright. Do we have another post up here? Let's have a look. Historic Winnipeg. Oh man, I can't read that at all. Oh, <laughs> there's so many beautiful places down there. Like, this is just a really cool piece of artwork. And I think that was a trash can right in the middle. But it looked really nice against the wall. So I'm like, oh, it's not a trash can. It's what I just took a picture of. I apologize. And I'm telling the guys to pose for pictures. They're all vlogging and stuff over there. Ah, hi, there we are. So it was such a fun day, just exploring and wandering around and um, having a look at the artwork and all the statues. This one's fun. I absolutely adore the way this one looks. Um, the animal behind the statue there. And yeah, there should be a picture of the plaque that says what it is. There was so much to take in on this walkabout. And I think at this point we still haven't eaten. North Watch. Ivan Iyer. Yeah, very nice statue. So, of course, I had to ask for a picture in front of it. And our maturity bubble comes out. We're all vlogging and snickering. And, mm -hmm. We just must have looked ridiculous walking down the streets giggling. Oh, this was on the other side. This is like the busiest, most dangerous intersection in Canada. We were wandering around, I think part of the vlog where we are <laughs> looking for entrances of places. We were looking at some restaurants up here, but I mean, it was like $45 a plate, and that's not our price bracket. High-fiving one of the kids, or one of the hands in the tree. Tree kid. Yep, hanging out in the square, and uh, trying to decide where to go from here. Because at this point, we're actually like kind of getting hungry. And, um, what the hell is going on here? And so I see a walkway and I'm like, hey, it looks pretty sketchy. Let's go down this way. So where we went, I thought maybe it was going to be like an underground train, like, um, I don't know. But we ended up in a down, down underground mall that was closed everywhere except for this radio station. And I got to give kudos to those guys. Because they kept a pretty straight face while we were all vlogging right there. And we followed this couple and we found the maps. But we just decided to keep walking around. Because we weren't quite ready to leave yet. Um, having an explorer. These are three of the different points or whatever. And where those tall buildings are and that roundy circle is all like super duper busy four lane traffic into those roads. And we're underneath that. Just right in the middle. So it was pretty fascinating to be down there, and then we got lured into the food court sign. But, um, you know, after talking to those people and they said everything was closed, uh, they weren't kidding. So we went back upstairs, and we came up to the top of this building, which looks pretty cool. Probably like a window for downstairs. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's so obvious when you say it out loud, I think. Where are we here now? Oh, I think we're still wandering around looking for food. Why did I take this photo? I couldn't tell you. Um, oh yeah, here we are back where Rev was staying at the hotel. And so we had already looked at the menu there and we're like, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, and a big fire truck. I honestly don't know why I'm across the street. Oh, maybe for the Canada flag. Thank you, Rev, for the discreet placement of your finger there, because I had a friend who saw that, and I didn't realize until after it was posted. <laughs> ooh, ooh, a big, huge platter. That It was interesting. Um, the half platter, which was more interesting. I'd have to say the menu was very vague. But we were starving at this point, and food is food, and we were waiting on nachos, and then the nachos finally came. It was horrible service, but that's okay, because we were there together, and so we behaved ourselves. And there was beautiful stained glass in this hotel. Actually, there was a lot of beautiful stained glass in the hotel. Here we are, having a pig out on some food. 
at this point, we're waiting for Suji to arrive. Oh, thanks, GT. Uh, you guys definitely matched that one up. Way to sneak it in there. I'm not even going to blur that out. <laughs> so, yeah, we just munched away on food and dips and, like, coffees and chatted. I think we sat there for, I don't know, guys, three hours, four hours, five hours. So, it was interesting. It was definitely dark or going on dark when we were leaving. Um, <laughs> we talked about so many cool things, and it was just really nice to hang out. It was like, like Rev said, it's weird to um, see each other without having a square around our heads. Oh yeah, uh, is there a Sasquatch on the label of a kokanee? Is it right here? So I took a picture so we could zoom in. That's the name of the pub, and look at the stained glass, and I need to send this photo off to somebody because it's funny. I think this is just, just another shot of the doorway. Just another shot of the doorway. So yeah, definitely an interesting experience being there. Hi, Susie. Yay. We actually, like, that's our to-go stuff. We were just getting ready to go. We were waiting. Look at that suit and smile. Um, and hanging out in the hotel, whatever. It was a really good time. We stayed for a little bit longer. Got a few pictures, because, you know, that's what we do. Wait, wait, one more, one more. Um, <laughs> and I think this is, like, on our way out. Because we're getting ready to go. And, um, or, you know, like, kind of a long goodbye, but whatever. I'm so glad that you came to visit us here in Canada, Rev. Yay to meet you in person, Susie. It was really great to see you guys in real life um, and make fun of the fakest, dustiest, grossest plug-in fireplace ever. <laughs> and that's our ride home. The sunset was nice, and it was a really good time. And for sure, looking forward to doing more YouTuber meetups along the way. I don't know why I took this photo, but it's a good place to end this off. <laughs> See ya!